Welcome to today's session of hands-on eViews number one. Today we will do some descriptive data analysis with eViews and we will also perform an ordinary least squares estimation on cross-sectional data. And in particular we are interested in estimating the effect of population growth on the income level of a country. So the equation we are about to estimate will be logarithm of GDP per capita equals some constant plus some coefficient times population growth. So let's first get the data. Therefore we go to this URL and download the spreadsheet. Here we go. And here we can see the data. You can also get the data by yourself by going to the Penn World Table database, Penn State World Tables. And there we uh, find some data on countries, so cross-sectional data. And we have uh, several data sets available, population in the year 1980, GDP per capita in the year 1980, and the same two data sets for the year 2000. So let's save that data. And we switch to eViews and we'll open this file. Therefore we will go to File Open Foreign Data as Work File. Choose our Excel file. Here we go. eViews automatically detects most of the times where the uh, where to find the data on the spreadsheet. So as we can see here, it has already excluded the first two lines of the Excel spreadsheet where we just had the information about the source. If uh, eViews um, doesn't have a clue where to find the data set, you can also customize this uh, area by yourself. Also detects that the first line of the data set are the headings, namely the uh, names of the data sets or the variables. So that's all fine. And here we go. Okay, first thing, we will have a look at the data itself. It's called descriptive analysis. And uh, this, this window shows all the different data sets we have. So the different variables. And if we double click on one of them, we will see uh, in a spreadsheet format the different values. And we can also um, have a look, for example, at a histogram, view, descriptive statistics, histogram and stats. Here we can see, for example, the mean, the median, maximum, all most important descriptive statistics of the series can move back to the spreadsheet view and we can also have a look at the graphical representation of the data view graph line and so here we can see the GDP per capita in the year 2000 is mostly uh, distributed between uh, 35,000 to zero and uh, this one data set is obviously uh, could be interpreted as an outlier so if you want to get rid of outliers there's a useful uh, way of doing so in eViews that's the sample so these two lines define how many observations we have in our total population that's the first line we have 164 observations or countries and uh, the second line is the current sample. So all views and estimations we're about to do uh, will always work on the sample selection. So if we want to reduce the sample, we just double click on sample. So right now it's set to all, but we could also easily reduce it to, uh, let's say, the first 30 countries. And here we go. The graphical representation already shows we just have 
30 countries now in our uh, calculation set or sample set. So if we go back, again we have the total population. If we want to get rid of this outlier, we can see that this outlier is above 50,000 uh, euro or US dollars. And if we want to get rid of that, we can use the if condition. So we want to reduce our sample by stating that uh, we want to have all observations in our sample which have a GDP per capita 2000 lower than 50,000. And obviously the range has changed and our outlier is gone. So we see here our sample has uh, only 163 observations left, so we excluded exactly one observation. Now, in order to um, do our, estim our estimation, we need uh, new variables, namely uh, population growth. So far we just have the uh, population values at certain points in time and we need the logarithm of GDP per capita. Therefore, we'll create new um, data sets and that can be easily done uh, by using the general command and commands in generally are entered in the command window that's the few lines up here. So with the general command we can practically create any kind of time series uh, series of data. So if we want to create a variable which does just has the value of uh, 4, let's say x, we use this command. Now we see we get a new variable labeled x. If we open it, all values are 4s. We could also, for example, create a variable u that is normally randomly distributed. That's the command nrnd, and we get this one. So all these variables are random variables with the standard normal distribution. Now the variables we are interested in is uh, population growth, so we will create a new variable called population growth that equals population in the year 2000 minus population in the year 1980 divided by population in the year 1980. Let's have a look at it. Looks fine. Another variable we need is the logarithm of uh, GDP per capita. So that's again the general command. It's called L GDP per capita equals logarithm of GDP per capita if you misspell. Okay. Now again, before we start, let's have a look at the new uh, data sets we created. We can also have a look at them at the same time by selecting both. So, just click on population growth hold down the control key, select another one, logarithm of GDP per capita, right mouse click, select open as group, and here we can see the two data sets. A useful another uh, descriptive analysis is the correlation between data sets, correlations common sample, and here we already see what we it expected to be there's a negative correlation between the two variables.